All new at 10 o'clock, the second gentleman of the United States, Douglas M. Hoff, is in Dallas tonight to attend an annual gathering of Jewish teenagers from all around the world. As a Jewish man himself, he hosted a roundtable discussion on combating anti-Semitism. As our Aaron Jones shows us now, he's working on a plan. It's incidents like the Pittsburgh synagogue shooting in 2018, last year's Colleyville synagogue hostage crisis, and recent anti-Semitic remarks made by celebrities that have Jewish communities across the country on heightened alert. I want to make sure that everyone can live openly and, and proudly and without fear. And I know there's a lot of fear out there right now. As the first Jewish spouse of a U.S. president or vice president, Douglas Emhoff leading a roundtable discussion on combating anti-Semitism at this year's BBYO International Convention in Dallas. It aims to give Jewish teens more meaningful Jewish experiences. Part of the, the work that I've been doing um, is to educate, to, to explain who Jews are, explain what the Holocaust was, but it's really also to just listen. Teddy Schneiderman is one of more than 3,000 teens who will be sharing their experiences over the next five days. Anti-Semitism has hit me personally. You know, I've been, I've had anti-Semitic things said to me in the past, and it doesn't feel good. I, I would guess that probably everybody at this convention has at least been the victim of a remark or something being said to them. we got to call it out each and every time and not just let it become normalized. Emhoff says there must be consequences. On behalf of the Biden-Harris administration, he's working on a plan. Standing up uh, interagency uh, group, all aspects of the federal government. Uh, about a week ago, we had uh, one of our first meetings. I think there were 60 people in the room. Um, I came back from Europe. I uh, met with leaders there, made a report. So we're going to incorporate all of that into a plan. This year's conference theme, Now is Our Time, is meant to encourage teens to focus on democratic engagement. Um, I think two really important things, one being Holocaust education and two being safe reporting systems. We are here to inspire and we are here to make a difference in the world and that's what BBYO and IC is all about. Tonight, several of the teens we spoke to say when they go back home, they plan to have conversations in their own communities. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.